नेपाल मजदूर किसान पार्टी रातृ संगठन राष्ट्रीय अंतरराष्ट्रीय विषय में इस बोलते आक रघर्ष करते आक बारे में यहाँ जानकार नहीं हो आज हमी एटा फरक प्रसंग में एटा फरक विषय में इसी संघर्ष में उतरे आज हमी देखी रहजिक संचाल संचार मध्यम में पैलेस्टिनी जनता मथि को बर्बरता हमी देखते साथ साथ ही संकट संगसंगे एटा बिहानी नया बिहानी नया संघर्ष को लहर चल् आज संसार का न्याय प्रेमी जनता युद्ध विरोधी जनता साम्राज्यवाद विरोधी जनता आज सड़क में छं पैलेस्टाइनी जनता प्रति ऐक्यबद्धता जनाऊन रमेरिकी साम्राज्यवाद र इजरायली फाशीवाद को विरुद्ध में सड़क में छं रही सिलसिला में आज हमी नेपाल मजदूर किसान पार्टी री सचेत जनता देशभक्त जनता आज हमी सड़क में उतरे अमेरिकी साम्राज्यवाद र इजरायली फाशीवाद को विरोध करते पैलेस्टाइनी जनता संघर्षरत संघर्ष में उतरि आपको अस्तित्व को लड़ाई में उतरि पैलेस्टाइनी जनता प्रति हमें ऐक्यबद्धता जनाई रह फिर भी हमी यो ठावबा वीर पैलेस्टाइनी जनता प्रति हार्दिक ऐक्यबद्धता जनाऊद हमी सब हिजो भिएतनाम मधि अमेरिकी साम्राज्यवाद ने हमला नेपाल मजदूर किसान पार्टी का अग्रजर साम्राज्यवाद विरोधी नेपाली जनता ने अमेरिकी साम्राज्यवाद विरुद्ध संघर्ष साथ साथ ही तेस को सिलसिला लिबिया इराक अफगानिस्तान का ती संपूर्ण विषय नेपाल मजदूर किसान पार्टी ने नेपाली कामदार जनता को भावना बमोजिम नेपाली न्याय प्रेमी नेपाली युद्ध विरोधी अन्याय पूर्ण युद्ध विरोधी जनता को साथ समर्थन सहयोग में नेपाल मजदूर किसान पार्टी ने साम्राज्यवाद विरोधी अभियान साम्राज्यवाद विरोधी संघर्ष अगड़ी बढ़ाई यो आज को यह संघर्ष भी एटा सिलसिला हो नेपाल मजदूर किसान पार्टी एवं अंतरराष्ट्रवादी पार्टी हो रहा हर एक मार्क्सवादी अंतरराष्ट्रवादी होना आवश्यक आज हमी अंतरराष्ट्रवादी कर्तव्य अंतरराष्ट्रवादी धर्म बहुमजिम आज हम यो सड़क संघर्ष में उतरि रहमेरिकी साम्राज्यवाद रमेरिकी साम्राज्यवाद को बुई चढ़े इजरायली फाशीवाद ने जो अत्याचार करते नरसंहार करते तेस को विरुद्ध में आज हमी आवाज बुलंद करते साथ साथ ही नेपाल मजदूर किसान पार्टी ने विश्व का कुछ भी कुना काप्चा में उठने न्याय को निम्ति उठने संघर्ष स्वतंत्रता को निम्ति उठने संघर्ष स्वाधीनता को निम्ति उठने संघर्ष में मजदूर किसान पार्टी ने ऐक्यबद्धता जनाऊद आयोग यहाँ संपूर्ण समक्ष यहाँ अवगत होते विषय में आज हमी ते को एटा अर्क सिलसिला में आज हम इस उभि दाजु भाई दीदी बहनी मजदूर किसान पार्टी का भ्रातृ संगठन नेपाल क्रांति युवा संघ नेपाल क्रांति विद्यार्थी संघ ने आज अमेरिकी राष्ट्रपति जो बाइडेन को नाव में रर्क एटा छुट्टे पत्र इजरायली प्रधानमंत्री नेता न्याहू को नेता न्याहू को नाव में मजदूर किसान पार्टी पार्टी का भ्रातृ संगठन का हमारा साथी दूतावास में पुग्न भर हमारा पत्र हस्तांतरण कर अचम लग संसार का डन संसार का डाका संसार का यी ठेकेदार युद्ध सरदार इजरायल रमेरिकी हम ए पत्र संग डरा तिनी पत्र बुझीलि इजरायली दूतावास ने पत्र बुझीलि मनेन पत्र तो पत्र एटा बम ठाने रिनी फोटो मत खिचे तिनी लीन अस्वीकार कर इमेल पठान तिनी उता अमेरिकी साम्राज्यवाद को दूतावास ने यह पटक आँट गयो नेपाल मजदूर किसान पार्टी को यो पत्र बुझी लियो उसे बाध्यता यो पटक देखा यो हम नैतिक जीत हो दाजू भाई दीदी बहनी आवाज यो हम मजदूर किसान पार्टी को भावना नेपाल मजदूर किसान पार्टी को विचार नेपाल मजदूर किसान पार्टी को यो भनाईलाई हमी अंतरराष्ट्रीय क्षेत्र में प्रसारण करूर्ने हम कर्तव्य हो तेस कारण यो ठावी जो बाइडेन को नाव में अमेरिका का युद्ध सरदार अमेरिका का राष्ट्रपति जो बाइडेन को नाव में लेखी पत्र जस्ता का तस्त यहाँ समक्ष राखने मनुमति चाहूँ रो आवाज यो पत्र हमी अंतरराष्ट्रीय क्षेत्र में प्रसारण करो प्रचार करो रक्यबद्धता जनाऊ भाई यहाँ समक्ष हार्दिकतापूर्वक अनुरोध करना चाहूँ यह अंग्रेजी में छपया सुनदिहला डेट नोवेबर थ्री टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री 
Mr. President Joe Biden, White House, Washington DC, United States of America. His Excellency, your Marfat, His Excellency Ambassador, Embassy of United States of America, Kathmandu, Nepal. We, thousands of Nepalese students and youths gathered in Kathmandu, the capital city of Nepal, find it absolutely urgent to call your attention to the ongoing merciless, merciless onslaught per perpetrated by Israel in the Gaza Strip and West Bank of Palestine. The heinous ad actions of Israel have resulted in the slaughter of more than 9,000 innocent civilians in Gaza, including over 3,000 children and 2,000 women, while tens of thousands remain one wounded or un unaccounted for. Despite the global outcry for an immediate ceasefire, Israel has not only refused to relent, but has escalated its barbaric air raids and land invasions. The use of veto power by the US in the United Nations for the consecutive 35 times since 1948 has thwarted the peace process in the Middle East. It is no secret that the Israeli government has perennially enjoyed unwavering support from the U.S. administration. And the recent influx of military aid from the United States has not only exacerbated this catastrophe. We, representing the youth, students, and peace-loving individuals of Nepal, vehemently condemn your administration for inciting and financing Israeli terrorists and war criminals. We call upon the U.S. government to take swift and decisive action to halt the Israeli war machine in Gaza and advocate for a peaceful resolution, resolution through dialogue and diplomacy. Without question, an immediate ceasefire is the only viable solution as war begets nothing more, nothing but more war. The pages of world history are replete with evidence that Palestine rightfully belongs to the Palestinians. Palestinians. They are the ones who generously offered refuge to the Jewish community when they faced persecution from various corners of the globe. Today, today, Israel has laid claim to the majority of Palestinian territory, forcibly in ejecting its rightful inhabitants from their homes. Palestinians are being systematically oppressed and marginalized, while their land, property, and basic human rights are plundered by Israel. We beseech you, as an ally and mentor to Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, to, up to uphold international law and the principles of humanity. For a whole month, for a whole month, the Palestinians in Gaza have been subjected to a relentless blockade, deprived of water, food, medical supplies, fresh air, and even access to the internet. Hospitals and schools, the last centuries of hope, have not been spared from Israeli bombardments. This is not merely inhuman. This is not merely inhuman. It is nothing short of barbarism in constituting a grave war crime. We stand united. We stand united in our condemnation of these heinous acts by Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu and urge their immediate cessation without any further delay or preconditions. Every Palestinian, every Palestinian as well as the citizens of Gaza has an inherent right to live a dignified life. The pursuit of freedom is their birthright. The pursuit of freedom is their birthright. Safeguarding sovereignty is their prerogative. Defending one's nation is not a criminal act, and striving for existence should never be equated with terrorism. The call, the call for free Palestine reverberates throughout every corner of the world, and it is high time that you, Mr. President, pay attention to voices of the people and act in defense of justice and humanity. Yo bhaiyo, jo Biden ko nao ma Nepal Mazdur Kisan Party, press ka prathri sangathan darle pathaye ko, jo Biden ko nao ko yota patram, wahan ko, jo Biden ko nao ma pathaye ko patram. 
रेस्मा युद्ध युद्ध को तत्काल अंत्य गर्ने को निम्ति नेपाल मजदूर किसान पार्टीले माग गरेको छ र साथसाथै अहिलेको निम्ति युद्ध विराम तत्कालको आवश्यकता हो र त्यहाँको जीवनको रक्षा महत्त्वपूर्ण पक्ष छ त्यसकारण त्यसको माग सहित हामीले यो पत्र पठाएका हौं र अर्को पत्र इजरायल इजरायल का प्रधानमंत्री बेंजामिन नेतन्याहू को नाम पठाइए को पत्र ऐस प्रकार था। मिस्टर प्राइम मिनिस्टर बेंजामिन नेतन्याहू, जेरुसलम इजरायल, मार्फत, सीओम, हिज एक्सेलेंसी एम्बेसडर, एम्बेसी ऑफ इजरायल काठमांडू नेपाल। डियर मिस्टर प्राइम मिनिस्टर, वी नेपलीज स्टूडेंट्स, यूथ एंड जस्टिस लविंग to address a vital matter that requires your immediate attention. We are deeply concerned about the ongoing tragic events in the Gaza Strip and West Bank of Palestine, where Israel's relentless aggression has led to the loss of innocent lives and inconceivable devastation of vital infrastructures. More than 9,000 civilian, civilians including nearly 4,000 children and 3,000 women, have been massacred, leaving 32,000 wounded. Mr. Prime Minister, Palestine is not a slaughtered house of Israel. Mr. Prime Minister, Palestine is not a slaughtered house of Israel. Despite the global outcry for a ceasefire, Israel has continued to escalate its air raids and ground invasions. It is well known that the Israeli government has consistently received substantial support from the United States and recent extensive military aid has also exacerbated the crisis. It is disheartening to see that the arms supplied by the United States have played a significant role in perpetuating the conflict. Evidences and reports from international organizations such as the United Nations have highlighted the devastating impact of these actions, including the destruction of civilian infrastructure and an alarming loss of life. On behalf of the youth, students and peace-loving people of Nepal, we honestly implore you, Mr. Prime Minister, to stop begging man-killing machines from the U.S. war exporters. Mr. Prime Minister, you, your, your war-provoking statement and announcement to wipe out Palestine from the world map in the UN General Assembly on September 22nd is the aftermath of the incident on the 7th October and without any doubt, Mr. Prime Minister is accountable for it. We urge the Israeli administration to take quick action to end the crucial cruel military operations in Gaza and seek a diplomatic resolution. Undoubtedly, undoubtedly a ceasefire is the immediate necessity as war cannot be the solution to war. Throughout history, throughout history it is abundantly clear that Palestine belongs to the Palestinians. They provided refuge to Jewish populations fleeing persecution from around the world, and today Israel's occupation has displaced the indigenous Palestinians from their own homeland. Palestinians are being driven away, losing their homes, land, and even their basic rights. Evidences from international organizations and the testimonies of those affected paint a big picture of dispossession and suffering. This is a grave injustice. This is a grave injustice and we request you, Mr. Prime Minister, to uphold international law and human rights. For, for four long weeks, Palestinians have been deprived of essential resources such as water, food, medicine, fresh air and medical supplies due to the, Israel, due to the Israeli seas in Gaza. Hospitals and schools have not been spared from the bombardments, which is a horrifying display of inhumanity and a clear violation of international law. Evidences from reputable sources show the dire humanitarian situation with a lack of access to minimum basic requirements, endangering the lives of countless civilians. We resolutely, resolutely condemn the actions of Prime Minister Netanyahu and insist that these crimes cease immediately without any preconditions. 
every Palestinian and resident of Gaza has the inherent right to live with dignity, freedom and freedom, sovereignty and the right to defend their nation. Striving for existence should never be labeled as a terrorist act. The cry for free Palestine, Palestine resonates across the globe, globe and we implore you, Mr. Mr. Prime Minister, to heed the people's call. We believe in your ability to make a meaningful change by advocating for peace, dialogue and justice in the region. Your intervention can help restore hope and pave the way for a peaceful and lasting resolution. We urge you to take an immediate step and put an end to the suffering of innocent lives in Palestine with hope for a just and peaceful world. Your boyo, Benjamin Netanyahu, Israel ka Pradhan Mantri, ko Nauma, Nepal Mazdur Kisan Party ka Pratri Sangathanaru. Pratri Sangathan Harule Pathaiko, Yo Patra, Rayo Patra Mapani, Yo Patra Mapani, Nepal Mazdur Kisan Party, Yo Anya Puna Yudako Parsanagaregosa, Ra Netanyahulai, Turunta, Palestine Harukozun, Saman Garnogunimti, Sotan Tratago, Kadar Garnogunimti, Swadin Tago, Kadar Garnogunimti, Esma Magariegosa, Yudako, Yudale Arko Yudazan Maunitsa. युद्ध कुनै पनि कुराको यतेसले निराकरण या उपाय दिन सक्ने छैन त्यसकारण शान्तिको पक्षमा स्वतन्त्रताको पक्षमा स्वाधीनताको पक्षमा र आफ्नो अस्तित्व रक्षाको निम्ति प्यालेस्टाइनीहरुले जुन किसिमले लडाई लडिरहेको छ नेपाली जनताको ऐक्यबद्धता ऐक्यबद्धता छ र नेतन्याहुले पनि अन्तिममा त्यसको सम्मान गर्नै पर्दछ यही आशय यही भावना यस पत्रबाट पनि प्रकट गरिएको छ यति भनाई राखेर मेरो छोटो भनाई मेरो भनाई टुङ्ग्याउँछु हस् धन्यवाद